may be hard to tell at scale, but this is, in fact, the world's largest aircraft. Say hello to the Airlander, part blimp, part airplane, part helicopter. Its thin Kevlar skin holds in 38,000 cubic meters of helium gas. It was first developed as part of a secret $150 million Pentagon program, but that was shelved back in 2013. Today, the Airlander is undergoing testing north of London after being bought back by its creators, hybrid air vehicles. Its main purpose today is for civilian use. This can provide days worth of communications or overwatch and help with a rescue attempt or help monitor a situation. But also more than that, it can land and take off anywhere so it can move cargo equipment um, anywhere that's remote, that doesn't have roads, doesn't have railways. Just to give you a sense of how big the Airlander 10 is, it measures exactly 302 feet in length. That is 60 feet longer than the world's largest passenger plane, the Airbus A380. It can also remain up in the skies for up to 21 days without being refueled and fly at an altitude of 20,000 feet. The company is also hoping to one day have the Airlander as a future mode of transportation, albeit a slow one. Its big sister, the Airlander 50, will carry anywhere from 200 to 400 people. It'll be a big, slow-moving, luxurious way to travel around the world. But the company may have a tough time convincing passengers to sign up. A terrific explosion in the tail fin of the dirigible, and passengers and crew hurl themselves out of the ship into the ground. This is what most people think of when they hear the word airship the Hindenburg disaster of 1937. It's a marketing challenge admits the company. We believe it's one of the safest forms of travel available. And we're filled with inert helium, which doesn't burn, which puts out um, fires. It's not like the hydrogen of olden days. So there's, there's lots and lots and lots of safety features. Um, we've got four engines. We only need to fly on one. We can float on none. We've got 15 different compartments in there. In fact, they say you could fire a bullet through it and nothing would happen. The bullet would go through the hole and it come out the other side, so there would be two holes. But the leak rate would be so slow that it would be, have no immediate effect on the capability of the aircraft. The company hopes to start test flights at the end of the year. Who knows if a fleet of airlanders might soon be coming to Heathrow. Phil Hahn, CNBC, Bedford.